Falling Guillotine is a power sword that's been refreshed and returned to us in Season of the Wish as part of the Into the Light update. So it's back and it's better than before. Plus we can get a limited edition version of this amazing sword. Well today I'd like to take a closer look at the stats, the perks of God Rolls, plus how to get Falling Guillotine in Destiny 2. Okay, let's dive right in and look at how to get this weapon. So to get this sword, you need to play Onslaught, and you can access that via the Into the Light node from the director, and it's a random drop after the boss phase, and that is after each 10 waves are completed. So you can also turn in the currency Trophies of Bravery, which are acquired through Onslaught and other activities in Destiny 2. Turn in 10 and you'll get a random weapon, which could be Falling Guillotine. So you can find this chest next to Lord Shax to the left of him in the Hall of Heroes. You can also pick up a quest from Arsight and he is next to Shax on the right hand side. And by completing this quest you'll get a curated version of Falling Guillotine. And that is a pretty decent role for PvE so this includes getting sword kills from around the system. And the quest doesn't really take very long to complete. I would recommend either the Shuro Chi location in the Last Wish Raid or the start of the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. Now with all these quests from our site I recommend going to an activity solo, raids, dungeons, lost sectors, exotic missions, you know, wherever you can. Find some infinite spawning enemy mechanic and get the quest done with the weapon kills. And in this instance, it's sword kills. Okay, next up, let's have a closer look at Falling Guillotine. So Falling Guillotine is a legendary power sword with the vortex frame, meaning you can launch a heavy spin attack. And heavy attacks, they are stronger with full energy. So look at the stats. you got 40 for swing speed, 60 for impact, 40 for range, 20 for charge rate, 46 for magazine, and it's got an ammo capacity of 59. The origin trait here is Indomitability, where final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when you are playing a dark subclass. Well next up let's have a look at the god roll guide for falling guillotine, so for PvE, Jagged Edge, Swordmasters, Guard, Frenzy and Surrounded would be good, so Jagged Edge increase the damage at the cost of sword ammo. Swordmasters Guard is where Sword Guard has low overall defences but increased charge rate. Frenzy is where being in combat for an extended period of time increases the damage, handling and reload for the weapon until you're out of combat. And Surrounded is where the weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. So you've got two perks there that increase damage and that is a deadly combination for PvE DPS. Next up for PvP, Enduring Blade, Balance Guard, Chain Reaction and Eager Edge would be good. Enduring Blade greatly increases the sword ammo at the cost of damage and Balance Guard is where Sword Guard has balanced overall defences. Chain Reaction is where each final blow of the weapon creates an elemental damage explosion, always good in PvP, and then Eager Edge gain increased sword lunge distance immediately after switching to this weapon. So basically you can get to your opponents in PvP very quickly with Eager Edge, and to be honest they won't really suspect a thing. Well, Let me know in the comments what you think about the Falling Guillotine and its return in Into the Light. I tell you what, it used to be good, but it's even better now. But that is it for this guide for how to get Falling Guillotine in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. Well, thanks again, and I will see you real soon.